City of Cleveland's attempt to break a world record ends in calamity. Marketing a city is a tall task. Leadership must highlight all the city offers travelers while showing those looking to relocate that they can make a buck and raise a family. So, in 1986, one city conducted an eye-catching publicity stunt. More specifically, a local charity organized a community effort to shatter a world record and bring national attention to the up-and-coming town. Unfortunately, complications and bad decisions turned the event into a disastrous spectacle. In 1986, the United Way Charity of Cleveland, Ohio devised a brilliant fundraising and publicity event. The plan was a simple one, centered around gathering colorful balloons. Easy enough, right? United Way planned to break the Guinness World Record for the most simultaneously released balloons. Disney and Anaheim held the then-current record of 1.2 million set the year before, below. Could that record be broken? Organizers of the event, including Treb Heining, a balloon artist shown here, hoped so, but they also had greater ambitions for the stunt. They wanted to earn the city of Cleveland much deserved recognition. I think this event, Treb told the local news, is a prime example of what United Way was trying to do in terms of saying, Cleveland, it's your time. It's time to say yes. It's time to say it's a happening city. A noble goal indeed. So starting in March of 1986, Treb, the United Way and Cleveland started collecting permits upon permits and hammering out logistics. Finally, on September 27th, the potential record-breaking day arrived. Organizers suspended a net over a city block long above Public Square in Cleveland's downtown, which held the helium-inflated balloons. Over 2,000 volunteers from all over the city gathered underneath. The volunteers spent hours filling up balloon after balloon, hoping to reach 2 million and shatter the record set by Disneyland. Shortly after the effort began, though, the disasters started piling up. Volunteers filling up and tying two or three balloons every minute for hours straight accumulated blisters all over their fingers. Many required bandages on their hands. Others faced worse problems. One woman, for example, had tied a collection of balloons to her wristwatch, only to watch the helium-filled balloons eventually carry her jewelry away. And worst of all, gray skies loomed on the horizon. United Way called for an early release to make sure that the balloons weren't hampered by rain. Only one and a half million had been filled by 1.50 p.m., but that was still enough for the record. So, giddy, volunteers pulled back the net. At first, the balloons dazzled the crowd looking on. Blue, red, green, and yellow balloons swirled upwards in a glorious display. It was beautiful, one spectator said. It looked like confetti going up. But the joy only lasted briefly. You see, the plan, as the United Way saw it, was for the balloons to float up disperse and then biodegrade. That plan looked like a success as the balloons wrapped around Terminal Tower, shown here. Then a storm rolled in. A cold front pushed the balloons back toward the ground, where some clogged the streets of downtown Cleveland. Others littered the runway at Burke Lakefront Airport, grounding all flights. But that wasn't the worst of it. See, the Coast Guard had been out on Lake Erie all morning, looking for two missing fishermen after their small boat washed up without them. But mid-search, stray, storm-swept balloons descended on the water. There, bobbing like bright buoys in the water, the balloons littered the water. This made the Coast Guard search for the 40-year-old Skip Sullivan and Raymond Broderick nearly impossible. Imagine trying to find a head or spotting a life jacket in waters filled with brightly colored spheres. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. One searching Coast Guardsman said, For two days, the guard found no signs of the men. Two days later, both men washed up on the shore dead. Their wives sued United Way, arguing their husbands might have been found was it not for the fundraiser. This was one of many lawsuits the balloons caused. As weeks passed, popped and deflated balloons washed up all over the Erie shorelines. Even in Canada, the event was an unmitigated disaster. But at least they had the record, right? Wrong. Guinness refused to acknowledge United Way's record-setting event. The organization couldn't allow death, destruction, and poor organization to taint their record books. So, Anaheim kept the record. United Way's fundraising event failed, though they did bring publicity to Cleveland, whatever that was worth. 
As of 34 years later, the charity, thankfully, has no plans to re-attempt a balloon launch. The U.S. is more prepared to handle such a disaster nowadays.